we sort of realised that, that, that the business could be a really good way to help families think about their health in a different way. So from pregnant mothers right the way through to grandmothers, you know, being able to, to help the entire lifespan with looking at their health in a different way. So, you know, choosing whether they'd like to see a chiropractor, whether they wanted to see a child health nurse, whether they wanted to just have a massage and reduce their stress, whether they want to treat a cold with acupuncture. And, and um, to help them through a natural birth. So I'm also a childbirth educator. I did that course a while ago as well. Um, and I see my role now as helping families to get information and to feel supported. You know, it, it's, I think there's a lot of families out there now that, that don't have extended families, that don't have parents around, that just need someone they can come and go, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, where do I look, where do I go, what information do I need? So I spend a lot of my time, I do two clinics a week um, that are drop-in, that are free for parents, that I do because I feel I've got all these qualifications and that people need to be able to access someone consistently in order to feel supported. So I've got a lot of mums that came to me when I first started the clinic they're now having their second and third babies, and they'd still come back. They'll come back, they'll ask me a question, you can see the relief on their face when they, they hear that they're doing exactly what they should be doing anyway, and they'll go away. And they'll come back in six months when they've got another question. Nursing for me was, um, was really good. I enjoyed it. And I, I, I didn't mind the ward nursing, but I suppose I, I found it difficult to be paternalistic. I found it difficult to um, always know better than someone else because I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't see myself as an expert. I see myself as someone who facilitates um, learning in, in others and, and facilitates people to find out what it is they need. Um, and I do that better through education and support than I do through, well, you need to have your bedpan cleaned. You know, it's, I, think, I think my personality is um, much more aligned with the facilitation and education than, than with um, sort of, yeah, um, I, think, I think the word's dictating what, what, people, what people need. Um, I, found the, I found the ward nursing very structured, and I'm not a structured person. Um, I found, you know, the you know, timing of everything, you know, the pill rounds, the 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 wound round, the, that sort of thing. Although it, it was possible and I did it and I enjoyed it, I found the facilitation and the education much more aligned to my thinking. I I loved all of the nursing that I did. There's none of the nursing that I could enjoy because you're working with people, and that that was really good. I, I didn't. Um, I did not enjoy it, I just felt that my, um, my personality was much more aligned to the education and facilitation you know, of, of, of people seeking out their, their own health needs um, and, and I feel that's where my talent lies and, and has done for quite a few years. Well I think, like I was saying, I think there, there were people who were sort of going, well you're going to become a business person, and I have. I have become a business person, and I do. I do have a lot of. I, it was a steep learning curve, and and I've, I've had to um, learn how to run a business. I've had to learn about uh, profit and loss statements. I've had to learn about um, how much money we've got and how much money we need to make. So targets and and doing different things, and that that's been very interesting, I suppose, um, because it's a whole new kettle of fish for me. And, um, but I have, I have had people sort of say, oh well, you know, you're a nurse and don't you want to be nursing and, you know, you've got all these qualifications, the health service can really use you, you know, but they weren't using me. They weren't using all of my qualifications and I guess for me it was becoming more and more frustrating that I wasn't being used, that, that I had to toe a certain line rather than, um, be used for why you know, they, they weren't using my talents. 
um, because it was more risk associated. Um, and so I, I guess I had to step out and do something different. But yeah, it's, it's always challenging. I think it can, it'll go on being challenging and that's not a bad thing. I like the challenge. I think sort of looking at it from, from not just a nursing point of view but a mother's point of view, I think that's the difference. You know, I had um, my first experience with chiropractic um, was years and years and years ago and I just, you know, I had a sore back and I went to the chiropractor and it was sort of fixed and I thought, oh, well, that's great. I've got a sister who's an acupuncturist, um, so I had experience, a lot of experience with acupuncture. Um, I'd had massages all the way through my life, I sort of, in, I enjoyed that, that sort of thing. But when I had um, children, it, it became a different scenario. You know, you would, um, they would be sick and you'd take them to the doctor and immediately they were given antibiotics. And I guess, um, as, a, as a nurse, I knew that wasn't great for them. I knew that wasn't going to make them sick and healthy. Yeah, 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 yeah